Hi, in this video we're going to prove that as x approaches infinity, x cubed also approaches infinity. In other words, the limit of x cubed as x approaches infinity is infinity. And we're going to do it using the actual definition. So what is the definition? Recall, if you have the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity, and that's equal to infinity, this means that for every positive number, so for all m greater than zero, no matter how big, just for every single one, we can find a positive number n. So there exists, that means there exists an n greater than zero such that whenever we have an x bigger than n, f of x is bigger than n. So Basically, it's saying for every positive number m, we can find an n such that whenever x is bigger than n, f of x is bigger than m. So whenever x is big, f of x is also big. And that's what this is saying, right? Whenever x gets really, 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 really big, f of x also gets really, 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 really big. The for all statement here indicates that no matter what positive number you pick, uh, it doesn't matter how big it is, you can always find uh, a number n such that from some point on, f of x is gonna be bigger than that positive number you chose. So you can make f of x as big as you like with this definition. You can pick any m and you'll always be able to find an n. So we have to prove this uh, for f of x equals x cubed. So I have not done this problem, I have not even tried. So we're just gonna figure it out together in this video. So scratch work. So basically we need, we need, we need an n n, not m, let me erase here. We need n greater than zero such that, such that f of x is bigger than m. So f of x here is x cubed, right? f of x is x cubed. So such that x cubed is bigger than m whenever, whenever x is bigger than n, right? So x here is gonna be bigger than n. So how do we solve for x? Well, we can just basically take the cube root of both sides. So x is bigger than the cube root of m, right? So if we take uh, n to be uh, this number or bigger, then everything should be good. So now I think we can do the proof. Watch this, proof. So to do the proof, we have to use this definition. So we start by taking a positive number m. So you say, let m be greater than zero. And that satisfies the first part of the definition. Now we need to find uh, a positive number n. So there's actually this uh, principle in mathematics, it's called the Archimedean principle. And it says that um, whenever you have a number, you can always find an integer that's bigger than that number, always. It's called the Archimedean principle. So by the Archimedean principle, we can choose uh, n, let's choose uh, an n bigger than the cube root of m. Then for all x bigger than n, right? So then for all x bigger than n, which is bigger than the cube root of m, right? we have well, what's f of x? We have x cubed, x cubed. Well, x is bigger than the cube root of m. So this is greater than the cube root of m cubed, but that's equal to m. So we have x bigger than m. It s, x cubed rather bigger than m. So we let m be greater than zero. We found a number n which is actually an integer. The Archimedean principle says you can find a positive integer. Uh, given any number, you can find a positive integer which is greater. So we choose an n bigger than that. And then for every x bigger than n, which happens to be bigger than this, we have, then we look at x cubed. Well, x is bigger than n, which is bigger than the cube root of m. So x is bigger than the cube root of m. So x cubed is bigger than the cube root of m cubed, which is m. So x cubed is bigger than m. And that completes the proof, right? That's the f of x bigger than m part there. So that's 
this part here, uh, this part here is this part up here. So very nice. So that completes the proof and that is it. So not really a difficult proof. It's just all about uh, following the structure. Good luck.